Hi guys, uh, this is part four. Um, I did this little swing uh, arm here. Are we able to control it in front? It's long. I will cut it uh, to a desired length later on. And uh, yeah, this is it. I did this little arm because it's quite odd to the touch when you those stove runs so this is going to be nice to shut it off and control the air like you want I did use those little wood uh, nuts here some are have three uh, teeth some are four and I don't know if you will see it but uh, the one with four teeth is quite longer then the other one it's quarter inch I have uh, bigger ones uh, they have all those size in the hardware store so and I use them a lot because I did put one here and I did use one as a spacer and I have one underneath here Move this here this one is welded down I just take the little teeth and take them and uh, cut them out or you just leave them there and there you go I'm screw that back on I did put uh, those little teeth here in front not the teeth but the little uh, nut with wood nut I did put one here I did put one on my door here so I will be able to uh, open and close this I did put one on each here to hold the door and inside the door here another, another thing I did is this little surround and I did this little uh, this was a square 4 inch by uh, 2 or 3 inch I don't remember but I did weld this uh, it's gonna be turned upside down so it's gonna prevent you see here the air will come out from there uh, I just weld this to prevent splash to come out the door and fall on the floor, floor and put, get the things on fire so it's a safety that I did for this and inside the stove I will put this little it's like a wire guys it's to put here around the surround here to uh, shut the door seal it up because I want to do some tests with it and those are I can find paper here those are replacement gasket for stove you find that in every hardware store so this wine is good for fireplace it's all multiple use I'm gonna put this around here seal it tight so this is part four part five is gonna be I need to cut my bricks and maybe part five is with will be with the brick inside and testing it so I need to paint it up too so I need to do a little tweaks here and there on it but this is it for now can't wait to try it out I love this little thing here I'm gonna control the hair here and control the air here so thanks for watching